Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. The Bible introduces some characters with just a single verse, but due to the nobility of these characters, being princes and princesses, their stories are known and understood. In this video, I will talk about the adoptive mother of Moses, the Egyptian princess, the daughter of the Pharaoh. If you're interested, please like, subscribe to the channel, comment, and don't forget to share with those who are also curious about the princess of Egypt, the adoptive mother of Moses, the daughter of the Pharaoh. The Adoptive Mother of Moses and Her Hidden Story Before we delve into the identity of Moses' adoptive mother, it's crucial to revisit Moses' story. His biological mother, Jochebed, a Hebrew Israelite, made the decision to place him in a basket on the Nile River. His sister, Miriam, watched the basket from a distance, ensuring his safety. However, while Miriam rested, the basket disappeared into the river. It was then that the princess of Egypt found the basket. In this context, chronologically, it is believed that this princess was Hatshepsut, the daughter of Pharaoh Thutmose I. This pharaoh was the king and ruler of all Egypt at that time. Thutmosis I, also known as Thutmose I, was a pharaoh of ancient Egypt who reigned during the 18th dynasty, approximately between 1506 BC and 1493 BC. He is often considered the third pharaoh of this dynasty, succeeding Amosis I and following a series of kings of the 17th dynasty who fought against the Hyksos, a group of Asian invaders who had occupied parts of Egypt. Thutmose I is best known for his successful military campaigns, which expanded Egyptian territory and consolidated the power of the 18th dynasty. He led military campaigns in the Levant and Nubia, extending Egyptian influence over these regions. His conquest in Nubia helped secure control over trade routes and the acquisition of valuable resources. During his reign, Thutmosis I also undertook significant construction projects, including the construction of temples and monuments in various parts of Egypt. Chronologically, it is known that most likely the princess who met Moses at the River Nile was Hatshepsut, the daughter of Pharaoh Thutmosis I. Some sources state that Hatshepsut was about 15 years old when, while bathing in the river with her servants, she spotted the basket containing the Israelite or Hebrew baby. She then decided to adopt the Semitic child as her own. Moses' mother was the wife and half-sister of Pharaoh Thutmose II, who, in turn, was also the son of Thutmose I, due to the fact that Thutmose II had several wives and concubines. This complex relationship is due to the fact that Thutmose II is the son of Thutmose I. The involvement of a concubine complicated the situation, making him only partially a brother. In the story of Moses's mother, the practice of incest, common among royalty and nobles in ancient Egypt, was accepted among Semitic peoples. An example of this was Abraham, who married Sarah, his half-sister, before the institution of Mosaic law in Israel. Although marriage between half-siblings was prohibited among the Israelites, other Semitic peoples continued to marry relatives, such as cousins and nephews. Moses's biological mother was indeed the aunt of his father, named Aaron, who in turn was the nephew of Jochebed. Hatshepsut's marriage to her brother Thutmose II had a brief duration, as suggested by archaeologists and Egyptologists. Some sources point to a reign of only three years, while other ancient historians claim about thirteen years. Moses's adoptive mother, the daughter of the Pharaoh, played a crucial role in history, especially in the adoption and upbringing of Moses. Hatshepsut became, in a way, a female pharaoh in her time. Some even claim that she assumed the rule of Egypt in place of the son of Thutmose II, who was born to a concubine and was still too young to be the pharaoh of all Egypt. During this period, Hatshepsut held the positions of both queen and pharaoh of all Egypt. Few are aware of the curiosity surrounding Moses's mother, especially due to the mistaken interpretation of some about the pharaoh of the Exodus, with many believing it to be Ramses II. In this case Moses' mother would be identified as Hanatmire, daughter of Seti I. 
From the age of three until thirty-five, Moses lived in the palace, receiving instruction and studies from the ancient Egyptians on various aspects of antiquity. This made him a knowledgeable and erudite man in ancient times, as the Egyptians highly valued wisdom and knowledge, extensively exploring these subjects. Moses spent his childhood during the reign of Thutmose I, who was pharaoh of ancient Egypt at the time. During this period, Moses received various instructions. For most of his late adolescence, he lived during the rule of pharaoh Thutmose II. The cause of this specific period is related to the death of an Egyptian, which occurred when Moses witnessed a taskmaster whipping and mistreating a slave, the gender of which depends on tradition. Furthermore, there are discrepancies regarding the identity of the victim, with some believing it to be a male slave, while others consider it to be a female slave. Enraged by the situation, Moses killed the Egyptian. This act was motivated by Moses discovering, or already knowing, that the man was not a native Egyptian but rather a Semite, a Hebrew Israelite. Contrary to the popular idea that Ramses II, his brother, had a close relationship with Moses, the more chronological and biblical version does not support such proximity. In reality, Moses did not fully get to know Thutmose III, who was the pharaoh responsible for keeping the Israelites in Egypt and preventing them from leaving the Egyptian land. Thutmose III ascended to the throne after the death of his father, Thutmose II. Initially, the regency was shared with his stepmother, Hatshepsut, who was the widowed queen and would also become pharaoh. After Hatshepsut's death, Thutmose III took full control and initiated a series of military campaigns that solidified Egypt as a dominant power on the international stage. The pharaoh is best known for his successful military campaigns in the Levant, where he defeated the combined forces of the princes of Syria and Palestine in the famous Battle of Megiddo, which took place around 1457 BCE. This battle is often considered the first documented battle in history, and the Egyptian victory is celebrated in historical records, such as the reliefs of the Karnak Temple. Thutmose III is also known for his contributions to the construction and renovation of temples and monuments in Egypt. He built the famous Karnak Temple in Luxor and made significant improvements to other sacred sites. Feeling powerful in his time, he kept his heart hardened even in the face of plagues, challenging the power of God. In reality, Moses was considerably older than Pharaoh Thutmose III at that time, who was around 50 years old. When Moses presented himself to Thutmose III, he was already 80 years old, while his brother Aaron was 83 years old. Now, returning to the topic of Moses' adoptive mother, Hatshepsut surprisingly lived until the age of 84 before passing away. Despite many presuming that she was still alive when Moses returned from Midian to Egypt, the reality is that she had already died. Moses spent about 40 years in Midian before returning to Egypt. This curiosity related to Queen Hatshepsut adds a fascinating dimension to the narrative. Hatshepsut, who self-proclaimed herself as the daughter of the deity Amonare, upon discovering Moses in the basket on the Nile River, immediately interpreted the event as a sign from the gods of ancient Egypt or the god of the Nile River, or perhaps some other deity associated with the river. She saw in it a kind of divine message directed to her. For this reason, she gave the child in the basket the name Moses. The name Moses, in Egyptian, refers to a deity, interpreted as, son of the waters, or, taken from the waters. This is literally the translation of the name Moses, indicating its origin tied to the waters of the Nile River. Some believe that Moses could have had a longer name than just Moses, similar to the example of Ramses, which means, son of R.A. However, it is possible that a part of the name was erased, as Moses was no longer considered an Egyptian, and a pagan name would not be appropriate, as he served the unique God of Israel. Although Hatshepsut is the daughter of Thutmosis I, the pharaoh of Egypt, she did not truly consider him to be her father. As mentioned earlier, Hatshepsut believed herself to be the literal daughter of the deity Amonare. 
While scholars and Egyptologists report that Hatshepsut's name has been somewhat erased from the history of ancient Egypt, they have not been able to eliminate all references to her. Some claim that the pharaoh who took the throne after Thutmose III, the pharaoh of the Exodus who fought against Moses and the divine plagues, may have contributed to this erasure. It is alleged that the Egyptians held a certain prejudice against Hatshepsut due to her relationship as the adoptive mother of Moses, bringing a Semitic slave to the Egyptian court and caring for him as her own son. Undoubtedly, Hatshepsut, the daughter of Thutmose I and the adoptive mother of Moses, is a fascinating and curious figure in sacred scriptures and the history of ancient Egypt. I hope everyone enjoyed this video about Hatshepsut. Don't forget to leave your likes and comments at the end of the video. With that said, may you all remain with God, and I'll see you soon.